Um, well, the tale of Snow White is a classic. She is tricked by her wicked stepmother into taking a bite of a poisoned apple. Well, the Milwaukee Ballet is putting its own spin on the classic with a wicked wardrobe. Mirror, mirror on the wall. The phrase from the fairy tale Snow White is known all too well. But in the Milwaukee Ballet's new production, Mirror Mirror, artistic director Michael Pink set out to explore a different side of the classic. What I wanted to do was, was delve a little bit into the backstory, which is why is this mirror magic and why does the stepmother want the mirror so much? This unique project is something Pink has been working on for a decade. Four, five, six, seven, eight. To help bring the production to life, he brought in scenic and costume designer Todd Edward Ivins. Ivins envisioned a fashion forward fairy tale. We dove into the fashion world, is what we did. There are almost 70 costumes. Each has been months in the making, which is remarkable considering the audience will see them for just a short time. That particular outfit is on stage for five to eight minutes. The dancer with the most costume changes is Susan Gartell. She plays Claudia, Snow White's wicked stepmother. This is one of seven, yes. I'm constantly changing clothes throughout the whole ballet. Those costumes help her carry come to life. These costumes are just as much a part of the set and the story as anything else. Um, so not only when I put them on do they help me embody this character and take me from scene to scene, but it helps the audience transition as well. And those transitions or costume changes will happen right in front of the audience. We're not changing off stage. For the most part, I have, I have four demons that are um, around me at all times. So they're manipulating me, they're changing my clothes. And that is just as powerful storytelling as anything else. You actually watch her sort of spread her arms and um, she will have people around her and sort of transform her. So you, the audience, will actually get to see that that interaction of, of how, of what normally is backstage. The demons will have a look all their own. It's pretty amazing, amazing visually. And their costumes are, you can't see their faces, they're kind of covered, um, they're very dark and the choreography is really powerful. The costumes have been made here in our wardrobe department by Mary Peering, who has been with this ballet company for many years. Fourteen people have been constructing the costumes for a year and a half. They're working with almost 200 yards of fabric. But the costumes aren't the only things unique to Mirror Mirror. The music is from scratch. Everything is from scratch. It is not a Snow White that you've seen, you know, and, and you know, it, it is a new ballet. I mean, they are adding to world culture with this new ballet. So you don't necessarily need to be somebody who understands or just loves dance. You need to be somebody who wants to be moved and experience something on a large scale and then walk out of there and say, and we made all this in Milwaukee? Mm, we're pretty good. Now go on, Milwaukee, take a bite. <laughs> and Mirror Mirror runs May 15th through May 18th at the Marcus Center for Performing Arts. Tickets are on sale, and we put all that information on our website, tmj4.com slash Wisconsin Tonight. But what a show that will be. Sounds like the costumes are as artistic as the dancing. And as important to the story. Yeah, very nice.